with the show. NFL Draft Combine was this weekend. Uh, obviously, Anthony Richardson was the star of the weekend, uh, putting up some gaudy numbers. Uh, but uh, Silk, Nick, did you guys get the chance to watch any of that uh, Combine this weekend? Yeah. Not live, uh, but I checked it. Go ahead. Yeah, I uh, that, that was the job. <laughs> so I was watching that. You know, I had the Combine pulled up. Um at the baseball at the baseball field Saturday. Um uh, was watching Anthony. And I mean this is this is what this podcast has been saying probably since what November? Like Anthony yeah. Richardson is going to raise some eyebrows, open some eyes at, at the combine. Um knew that he was fast. Um I had talked to uh his manager. Um, and I was telling his manager, Hey, I, th- I think Anthony's gonna go down to like 220, so he'll run faster at the combine. He goes, Oh, mm-hmm. he weighs 250 now. Yes, sir. And I'm like, Why would you do that? They go, Well, he ran a 44 laser today. And I go, Okay, that, that's why you would do that. If you're still running a 44 at 250, then why not? Um, but he shows up to the combine bigger than Cam, runs faster than Cam, yep, jumps higher than anyone's ever jumped at, at his position, jumps farther than anyone's ever jumped. Like, the combine was made for the kind of freaky athlete that, that Anthony Richardson is. Yeah, let's run through that. Anthony Richardson clocks in six foot four, 232 pounds, uh, 32 and three quarter inch arm length and 10 and a half uh, inch hand size for those that are interested in that kind of information. But 40 yard dash runs one time, unofficial 444, comes in at 4.43 seconds. Uh, which is the fastest time of this combine, and I believe the second fastest in history. Uh, he does not participate in the bench press ru- or has a vertical jump of 40.5 inches, which is first in this combine for quarterbacks, and then a broad jump of 129 inches, uh, which is 10 feet 9 inches, which was also first. Did not run in the three cone drill or the 20 yard shuttle, uh, but did throw uh, flicking the wrist throwing the ball 50, 60 yards in the air looked great uh, in throwing the ball as well at the combine. So I think that hype for Anthony Richardson going first uh, overall or definitely going the top five are are through the roof right now. I think he's got second second best odds to be the first quarterback off the board. The, the I think the best odds right now are still Bryce Young, who um, weighed in, weighed in, looked like Silk, uh, like 5'10", 200. So back in the day, two hundred, yeah, yeah, back, back in, in the, the day, day. Yeah, back that's, in the day. That's 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 like me, me here. So, man, that's like me in the back of the day. But um, five, ten, two hundred pounds, I say about three years ago, four years ago. Um, before you, before you gave up meat with a noodle arm. I don't have uh, the arm, the arm that uh, he has. But <laughs> AR, I thought put put together a great, and we all expected this. You know, his his draft stock was already rising before the combine. Um, so that was a great sign for for everybody that was on this this AR hype train, right? Um, of like once he gets out there, he runs a four four, uh, and I've I've been told behind the scenes that he's hit four three. You know what I'm saying? So somebody that size be able to run a four four is absolutely crazy. His arm is stupid live. Uh, outside of his physical stuff, man, just hearing that he nailed the the interviews, uh, hearing him speak on TV. A super polished guy when it comes to that type of stuff. How you want to hear your quarterback articulate? Just super impressive. Uh, happy for AR. Uh, I know a lot of fans have their opinions about like him not reaching his potential while on on campus at UF, but all of that's not on him. Uh, he had three different quarterback coaches. When you went from Brian Johnson, uh, you can see uh, uh, Dan Mullen take over, but there was not a whole lot of investment into him and, and belief into his abilities. Uh, you're talking about a guy that may go number one overall. He sat behind Emory Jones, you know. So I think that his his development is more or it's more of an indictment on the coaches that was around him and and, and not pulling that potential out, out of him and, and letting him sit a year he shouldn't have been sitting. Uh, so we got to see him one year, not a whole lot of snaps. Could use just some reps to just be become a better polished quarterback. But we're gonna see this guy become a good pro. Um, I think he's invested into his career. I think his work ethic is through the roof. I um, mean, his, 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 his football intelligence is through the roof as well. So uh, just watch this kid mature, you know, enjoy the ride. Um, y'all can stop hating now. It's going to be a top 10 pick. Just vibe out. Enjoy the show. I um, I, I shot him. I saw a, uh, like a, a head-on view of the 40, and um, I shot AR the, the video of it because he starts, and he goes, like, off to the left hash, and then he kind of, like, mm-hmm. veers back to the right hash. 
And I texted him and I said, man, you would run straight. You might have run like a four, two, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, he said, if my eyes were open, I might've run straight. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's, um, he's, he's a really good young man. And uh, listen, he's worked hard. Gonna put the gonna put the city of Gainesville on the map if the University of Florida hasn't already done that. I don't think he's gonna do that, but he got a chance to do some historic things uh, when it pertains to being an NFL draftee at the University of Florida, and, and I'm I'm all with it, man. And shout out to Billy Napier because the offense people act like we just went out there and was looking like Miami on offense or something, but our offense was explosive. Uh, people that are questioning, uh, oh, how did Billy not win with bro? The offense really wasn't the issue. Uh, we couldn't stop a nosebleed, and it's a team effort. Uh, I don't think we, – we talked about the receiving corpse and what AR was coming with in the beginning of the season. Nick thought it was the worst receiver corpse ever in the University Bro. of Florida. Y'all trashed so, me for it. I ain't trash. I just said it wasn't the worst. I've seen some some, some Ryan Saucers and, 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 and Wardens. I've seen some, some terrible wide receiver rooms. So it wasn't the worst, but it wasn't the ideal room and talent that you want around that type of guy. Uh, but nonetheless, we, we move on. C.J. Wharton, what a name to bring up. Yeah, Ryan Kiss Susan, baby. C.J. Wharton. Uh, pulled up Var- here. On- Var- the beginning of Vari Lies with C.J. Wharton. <laughs> uh, pulled up here on YouTube uh, from Bet Online, their first overall draft pick for 2023. They have Bryce Young at minus 190, which means that you have to bet $190 to win 100 should he go number one. But then Anthony, Anthony Richardson is right behind him at plus 300. Uh, I do expect those odds to probably get closer uh, rather than further away over the next couple of weeks. Anthony Richardson did have uh, what everybody was saying, some of the best QB interviews of the weekend. Uh, so I definitely think that he has a very legitimate shot at going number one uh, or number two overall uh, in the uh, April draft. Uh, he also did get a little bit of flack from people on the timeline that said uh, that I also can't catch every pass. Um, obviously, Anthony Richardson is very much trying to put himself, you know, in a position to say, hey, he can make those throws. I know a lot of, you know, Gator fan, yeah, you know, a lot of the Gator fan base was frustrated on, on some of the smaller uh, or shorter throws, some of the, the intermediate throws. But what do you guys take uh, to that comment? Do you just brush it off or any additional thoughts there? He has some drops, but he also has some throws that he just missed, man. I just you just chalk it up. He he had some yeah. drops. Um, but I don't you know, there's no indictment on who he is, what type of teammate he is, or anything like that, in my opinion. I've seen a lot of criticism. I've seen somebody criticizing him doing a flip after the combine. Like people could criticize he, he did a flip after the combine? Yeah, yeah, nice little flip. Didn't that. didn't land it perfect. Didn't didn't did, did not get a perfect ten. He's not a gymnast, but he landed. He did a flip out to the combine. <laughs> he and, he, he yeah. ain't no Leah Clapper. We'll ask Leah Clapper for that. Um, all right, so let's see here. Uh, in other news from the combine, Osiris Torrance uh, does does okay. Don't know if they were expecting him to to be a gym rat or anything else. Runs a five three one forty. Uh, does not participate in the bench press. Uh, overall, a lot in the, the 20s and 30s for him. I uh, still don't think that that impacts his draft stock at all. Uh, Richard Garage uh, comes into the combine. Uh, Nick, maybe you can shed a little bit more light in this. Does a pain tolerance test. Uh, the next morning woke up with uh, a swollen ankle, so he was not able to participate uh, in uh, any of the events uh, for the combine uh, other than getting weighed measured uh, but Nick, did you get any additional clarity there? Yeah, I um, I've asked a couple. I've asked a couple doctors. <laughs> um, I don't know what a pain tolerance test is. Like, they just get you into this like the most public job interview in the world, and they're just like, "Hey, by the way, we're gonna take you into this back room, and we're gonna twist your ankle, and you tell us when to stop. But if you tell us to stop too early, we're gonna say that yeah. you're a baby, and it's gonna hurt your draft stock. Like, what is a pain tolerance test? Like, what are you doing?" If, anyway, yeah. if there's a doctor in the comments that has, has done pain tolerance tests with their patients, please let us know. Hey, locks. <laughs> just, just get you, just get you in a headlock in the back and be like, listen, you, you can tap, but then you're going to be a you six say rounder. Uncle. <laughs> say uncle, you're going in the seventh. Interesting yeah. though. Uh, I thought he needed to work out. I think he, he, he's a guy that I thought would test pretty decent. I don't know how, what, what he would have did on the bench, but athletically, um, I think he can move around a little bit. So he could have used – uh, and he got opportunity at pro day, but he could have used the combine workout, in my opinion. Um, so I don't know if that's a plus for him. He could have used so, it. 
Uh, Ian Rappaport uh, came uh, back to another tweet that I didn't see. An NFL spokesman clarified uh, that my use of pain tolerance testing, there is no pain tolerance test. The player underwent a typical physical exam. So at some point during that physical exam, maybe he came in with a swollen ankle. Who knows? Uh, but ultimately, Richard Garage pulls himself out uh, of the combine. Hopefully, we will see him at the Gator Day here in a couple of weeks. Uh, Ventra Miller did not participate due to his foot injury. Gervon Dexter, Gervon Dexter, who we have an interview with on Thursday of this week, so stay tuned for, oh. for that, uh, runs a 488 40-yard dash, which places him fifth. A vertical Ooh. jump of 31 inches, which is third in a broad jump of – uh, 110 inches, which was sixth, and then a, th- a three cone drill uh, at 7.5 second, which was fifth. I think we all expected Gervon Dexter to have a really good uh, weekend in, in terms of combine speed, size. You know, he might be rising up some draft boards here, too. Absolutely. Uh, that 488 was amazing, amazingly fast, uh, especially. Especially seeing what our, some of our DBs ran. Um, a guy that big, that size, uh, Gervon was a former basketball player in high school. So uh, I knew athleticism was through the roof, but that 40 definitely made him a lot of bread, man. So he should be sliding up some draft boards, in my opinion. Absolutely. Continuing our, to uh, – oh, go ahead, Nick. Our, our friend Chris Zen might have had the tweet of the century. Um, added up those two safety 40 times. Says they're about a, a 9-2-5. Uh, combined, which is what they'll be working. Oh, soon, soon enough. <laughs> That's so, great. It's a brutal uh, tweet. I think I think those guys let land the last around a little bit in the league. I think Rashad Torrance goes undrafted. Uh, I hope he gets drafted, but that forty time didn't help him. But he got some some decent film out there. I think yeah. some of these guys are, are similar to uh, what's my man name and the plate slot uh, that went Brian Pool Pool. Uh, mm. Similar situation. I think he makes rosters, and I think he stands uh, hangs around a little bit. Same thing with with Trey Dean. He's just super athletic and can play special teams and shit like that. So, sorry using the S word. Uh, he'll, he'll be a, he'll be a, he'll, be a, he'll be around a little yes. bit. I think both of those guys will be around the league um, for at least four to five years. You know, a couple contracts. Yep. Uh, let's uh, keep going through Brenton Cox for him. Six four two fifty uh, runs a four eight two. Uh, does 24 reps at 225, which was ninth overall. Uh, other than that, pretty uh, middle better, of the pack. I think he uh, needed a better workout. I was uh, going to say, I expected a little bit more out of Brenton Cox, especially uh, with him being off the last uh, last month of the year. Justin Shorter comes in, uh, runs a 4.5540, which was 31st overall, but I think a little bit faster than, than probably fans anticipated for him. Uh, so that's good. Vertical jump of 35.5, which was 22nd in broad jump. He ranked 20th. Uh, Nick, you just mentioned Chris Zen's tweet. Let's get into the two DBs. Trey Dean runs a 4.75 uh, 40, which was 25th. He does put up the most reps overall at 225 uh, for all DBs uh, with 25 reps uh, at placing first. Vertical jump was 36.5 inches, which was eighth. Broad jump, he also came in eighth in. Uh, Rashad Torrance uh, runs a 4.72. Uh, which is 24th overall, puts up 20 reps, which was sixth overall. Uh, vertical jump, he did 13th, and broad jump was 11th. So, uh, again, not terrible performances by either one of them, uh, but certainly maybe some some speed. Uh, I know Trey Dean had an okay showing in some of the drills as well from what I saw, uh, but, again, it's going to be something that a team – takes a flyer on him and hopes that he can, you know, pan out at the next level. I don't think that he is as bad necessarily as he played at Florida. Uh, and I do think that there is going to be some opportunity for him at the next level. And listen, you don't need to run a four, two, one um, at, at safety. There's a lot of instincts um, that go into it. Um, preparation to put yourself in position. I mean, I, I, we used to always say, um, you know, if you could combine Nick Washington and Marcel Harris, you'd have had an all American. Cause like Nick Washington, Knew where to be, just couldn't get there at times. Um, and, and Marcel Harris, who's still, I think, in the league, um, was sure. just that fast, physical guy that you thought, hey, I just think he's just reacting. And he doesn't really – hasn't really put the time in in the film room, uh, you know, that somebody else has. And he's just out there running on instincts. Um, so, like so said, it's, it's not you – don't, you don't need to be track speed to play safety. Uh, there's a lot more that goes into it. 
But I don't know that we saw that from from those two guys at right. a lot at Florida either. Yeah, yeah. people like to every time somebody see a slow 40, and I don't want to call it a slow 40, but not a fast 4-4, four, 4-3, four, four, three, four, they want to uh, bring up the Ahmad Black comparison. When Ahmad Black was just a special guy, bro. Um, and he also played beside a guy like Major Wright who ran a 4-4 four, four, could cover a lot of ground. Um, so, like, you got to have football instincts, and Ahmad's football IQ and instincts are off the charts. Uh, and and you just can't compare forties when comparing people to Ahmad Black is disrespectful to Ahmad, if anything. You know, absolutely. Um, I did see it. You know, there's some comments in our chat here. AR15 doesn't play defense. Uh, our D has been hot garbage the last three years. I think that that's true. I think I saw a stat that said the defense gave up 60%. It gave up points in 60% of the drives this season. So I know there's a lot of commentary about AR uh, and not putting up enough points. Silk, I think you mentioned it as well. Uh, you know, Florida's offense wasn't bad. Uh, have we seen more explosive? Sure. Was there times that Florida was in a little bit of a rut offensively? Absolutely. Uh, but you cannot blame uh, the offense for Florida going six and seven this year. Uh, there's times that they maybe could have put up more points, but there's also a lot of opportunity for that defense not to allow, you know, 28, 29 points per game as well. So right now we have Anthony Richardson almost definitively a, a top five uh, drafty in this NFL draft. If he goes number one overall, he will be the first Florida Gator ever drafted number one. Uh, I think Florida had a player drafted number two. Uh, many, many moons ago. Uh, so that would be the highest. Uh, but again, Anthony Richardson. Osiris Torrance is probably a lock for the first round or early second round or definitely one of the first guards taken off the board. Uh, Jervon Dexter probably increased his draft stock. Do you think anybody else helped or hurt their draft this uh, this combine? Um, Justin I, I Shorter at 6'5 uh, ran very well. That's, yeah, ahead, Nick. yeah, uh, yeah. I, th I think Shorter – um, helped his draft stock a lot during the East-West Shrine game. And then with, then with his time, um, I think Osiris Torrance didn't do anything to hurt his draft stock, which he probably made himself the number one uh, offensive guard during the Senior Bowl week. Um, and, and I think Trey Dean, I don't know that the 40 time will hurt him as right. much um, or hurt what he did at the East-West Shrine Bowl. I think he helped himself a ton mm -hmm. that week um, at the Shrine Bowl out, out in Las Vegas. And I don't think anything he did. Um, at the combine is going to, you know, erase that.